Hello everyone, my name is Tonko and welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showcasing this iron farm which here which I have designed and this thing is incredible and as you can see it is producing a nice amount of iron one or two stacks per hour depending on the circumstances and this farm is also incredible because it is expandable as it shows in this version over here, as you can, I have four of these iron farms all producing iron golems at the same time. So without further ado, let's get into building this thing. So, like as usual, to build this thing, I'm just going to be showcasing um, the blocks you will need. Because I do not know um, the exact amount. So all I know is that you need a, a building block of your choice. It can be any block, but it can't be transparent. That's the only thing. Because then the iron golems won't spawn in it. You'll need a handful of slimes some water buckets, one lava bucket, one or, you need one or two bell um, per farm but eventually you'll only need one, you just need the second one for when we're making this thing. Um, you do not need any of the workstations unless you were turning it into a, a villager trading horse system which you can do as well with this design. Um, you'll need some fences or cover some walls, I prefer stone brick walls because I believe they look the and nicest. Um, you need some glass if you want to be able to see the villagers in their little pens um, but you don't need glass. Some hoppers, you'll need a chest, make sure this is not trap chest um, I accidentally took a trap chest instead. Just remember that hot ball selection there. Now let's just get rid of this and I'll showcase some more of the items that you will need and you'll also need a bell. So let's get into building this thing. Oh, to start off what you want to do is no, <laughs> there's an iron golem um, spawn there. But anyway, to start off, what you would want to do is, um, if you have already built one of these, um, then you want to come out two blocks and place a cobblestone wall. If you have not built one of these before, then um, you can just um, place this wherever you want. But you want, if you are, if you have already built this, then you want to find the center of the other one and align this one um, with that one, leaving a one block um, gap in between. And what I'm just going to be doing at the start is just building a nice wall around it um, so that the iron golems don't spawn um, where they're not supposed to spawn. But anyway, in these two blocks you want to come out eight blocks from that first initial cobblestone wall. And then you want to create like a sort of a circle shape and come out eight blocks on each side like so. Three, four, five, six, seven, and two three four five five six seven eight and there we go so now I just want to create a square around this thing like so connecting all of these two lines together this will create a square there we go almost so now I just have to do the final quarter over here like so then you just want to fill in this whole entire space apart from that um, hole that you made at the start you have to leave that one open because that's where all the cats and the iron golems are going to be dropping so you do, you do not want to have that um, covered let me just go ahead and fill all of this um, in make sure that the other blocks as well are not transparent blocks otherwise I don't well, I don't think iron golems will spawn it but you make sure I just use something like dirt or cobblestone or any blocks you enjoy, just make sure it is a solid block. Uh, so yeah, let me just finish off this last quarter here, like so. Almost done now. And there we go. You can pause this video at any time um, in case you need to catch up as well. So now what you want to do is grab yourself a couple of signs, you want to place a sign in that hole there and two signs above it like so and signs going all around this sign, I'm going to say signs a lot then signs on top of this sign but do leave um, the middle block open because that is where you're going to be placing lava but I wouldn't suggest placing um, the lava yet so now you just want to fill in this wall like so and then on the um, final two blocks of each corner just want to come up another block like so so it's like a three blocks raised in the corners then do this with all the other corners as well so two blocks there 
two blocks there and then fill in this bit like so and then there we go that should all join up very nicely so now you want to come to the underneath and you want to place two glass blocks there and create a three by three arena thing in the glass box like so this does not have glass box i'd prefer to see my villa so i know everything is working fine then pick a corner and place a double chest there and a hopper running into that this is the chest that all your iron is going to be going to, into so if you want um you can have this going into a massive storage system or whatever um whatever you want So now you want to get yourself some water and you want to place water in each of these corners making sure there's one block up and destroy the block underneath of that. Do this with all four corners like so. Oops, I broke that one. Uh, let me just do that. There we go. That fixed it. Okay, so now you want to do is fill in all these and uh, make sure you don't fill in all the corners and if you see like this, um, don't fill in that block there fill in all of these ones like so if you do fill in that one there all that will happen well it's quite a big issue and the whole thing will flood and then you'll have to um, place blocks on all of it to get rid of all the water and that would be um, a pretty big hassle so now what you want to do is you want to come down you want to pick a corner or a side and no, you don't do that actually, you just want to come to the centre and place some blocks like this going all the way um, to the edge and do the same on the other side like so here. Um, just two blocks wide going into the edge and place beds all along this like so. Like so. Now that should be 17 beds or 19. Yes, it should be 19 beds. If it's not, um, then do correct that. And overall you should have 21 beds so I'm just going to place another four um, beds here make sure it is not under or over the 21 beds otherwise that will mess everything up and you'll have many iron golems spawning in all the wrong places and it won't be an iron farm or just be a village so yeah you do not want that to happen so make sure it's exactly um, 21 beds so destroy all the um, solid blocks underneath those beds and now you want to try and do is get your villagers in there. So what's lucky about this is that um, you can just place them in the water and they'll flow into the center. And you want to place your first belt down here and you need to get exactly 20 villagers into that pen down there. And it, the first one you spawn is linked to that belt. If they do not link to that belt, then you'll have to kill them um, and just start, well, yeah, just make sure that they do link to that bell. I would recommend placing a second bell down. So I'm just going to place in 20 villagers in total. And if any of them link to that other bell, then you have to kill those ones. But well, that means you have gone over the 20 limit, which is no good. Like I'm just going to demonstrate here. So there we go. Now, if I were to place another one, like so. Wait. Let me just get myself a diamond sword. So if I were to place another one like so here, see that will link to the other village and you do not want that to happen, so just kill that villager. So now if I were to place that bell down, none of them um, should link to it. So if that happens, you just want to make sure that you do have exactly 20 villagers. Um, I'm just going to kill one. I think I've got another one over, which is not good. So let me just destroy um, that villager there. And let me just destroy these. As you can see, that other bell now had some green particles. And let me just move this bell down here now. So you want to move it onto this one so the villagers can actually see it. And now if I place the other bell, no one will link to that one, which is what you want. Um, if they do still link to the other bell, then you just have to kill um, a couple more villagers until they don't, because you really don't want them to link to the other bell. Okay, so now you can actually place in your lava at the top here. This is what's going to be killing your um, iron golems like so just place it here this lava shouldn't go anywhere as it is being surrounded by signs which luckily um, do not um, catch and fire which is nice 
as you can see this thing is producing iron this form won't have any iron yet but believe it or not that is actually um, everything done and these two iron forms are now working perfectly fine what's also good about this design is that um, now that you have um, a two villages here that are both spawning iron golems if you want you can turn one of these villages into a villager trading system all you'll have to do is just remove this top layer um, like so and these villages down here these are all in a separate village which means you can do whatever um, you want with those geezers and it will not affect um, the other form at all so yeah that, i just like to point that out that you can do whatever you want with this anyway that is all from me if you have any questions and um, please do leave them in the comment section below but i'll see you all later bye